What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to be doing um, custom covers, going over, showing you my custom covers. I've been getting a lot of requests uh, from a couple people specifically that want to see them, uh, but it's going to take a while, so I've been trying, I've been putting it off because I've been so busy, um, but I got a little free time now. So I'm going to keep the camera on the stand, but I'm going to pull it closer so I can show you the front and the back of the covers. Um, so the video might be a little shaky and I don't know if it's going to be uh, portioned correctly, but that's the best that I can do. Um, I got a wide angle lens on there, <coughs> but I only have eight feet between um, this wall and the wall that uh, my movies are on. So I, it's, it's a very tight space down here, so I have a problem uh, filming. So I'm going to be moving the camera around a little bit, but I'm going to leave it on the stand. So these are in numerical and then alphabetical order. So we're just going to go through them. Again, I don't know what you guys can see here, so I hope this is good enough, but So my first custom is Three Ninjas. It's all four movies in the collection. So I do, I am a completist. So even if there's a trilogy or quadrilogy or some movies, you know, have, uh, you know, eight or nine movies in the series, even if I'm not a fan, I will get them because I'm a completist. So if there's a, a double feature or trilogy, quadrilogy, five movies, whatever, the situation is I'll have them in a set, you know, several movies if there's more than six because of uh, standard size, you can only fit six. Um, but we'll get through that. So my second one is 21 and 22 Jump Street. Uh, 28 and 20, 28 days and 28 weeks later. Uh, all these covers are from or most of them are from customaniacs.org and then I have them uh, custom printed. A uh, guy charges me two dollars a piece but it's the same prints that you would get from a, a professional you know a DVD that you would buy from the store. Uh, some of these like this one uh, not that I know of I haven't checked in a while but it, it hasn't had an official release so this is a copy I bought at like a horror convention. Um, and I actually put these two covers together to make just something so I can put it on the shelf. It's both 300 films. This one too, I couldn't find anything. So I, I kind of just threw some stuff together. I just do it with basic paint. I don't have like a program. Just something that I can put on the shelf in a case, um, you know, and wait for someone to actually make, make a, a case. Uh, ABC's of Death. Both of them. I just got this one in. Uh, Ace Ventura Trilogy. First two and then uh, Junior. Actually, never seen Junior, but uh, previously, I am a big Adam Sandler fan. Um, I had uh, all of his movies, and it, you know, I have to condense constantly. That's another reason why I do the collections um, to get as many as I can in here. Um, previously, I had all of his movies, and I had I don't know, like thirty of them, maybe. So I came up with this idea. I took a couple covers that people had um, and kind of made it in a, a set so I can do like volumes. So this is volume one and they're, they go by year. So volume two has those six movies in there. Volume three. And again, I did these, so they're not professional, but they give me something that I can put on the uh, put on the shelf. 
and five isn't complete yet. I'm um, waiting for a couple of the uh, Netflix films he's been doing to see if they're going to release them on DVD because The Cobbler, I believe, was a Netflix and uh, that came out on DVD. So, Let's see how that goes. Uh, Adventures in Babysitting. Double feature, I've never seen the second one. Uh, Air Bud. Five movie collection. I might be skipping some of these. Like some of these singles, I think I think this is a custom. So what I used to do, I would buy because I'm completely fine with the quality of DVDs over the price, especially. Um so I would buy a, a Blu-ray DVD combo pack and I would keep the DVD and get a case made and sell the Blu-ray. Uh so some of these singles I might be missing. Um, because I bought them so long ago, but I don't do that now. Now I keep them. So, I don't know how much of this you can see. I don't want to have to pull all these down. I'll go over the sets, um, later on. So I don't have to pull them all down. Uh, I think this is a custom. All Dogs Go to Heaven, 1 and 2. Bruce and Evan Almighty. Evan and the Chipmunk Collection, four movies. Amazing Spider-Man. I think that's the same cover that came out on the uh, Blu-ray collection, the official release. Um, I think this is a custom. American Outlaws. This is an old, I had this one for a while. Uh, Anaconda's Collection. Quadrilogy. Anchorman. This is Angels in the Outfield, End Zone, and Infield collection. Most people probably never heard of anything but Angels in the Outfield. This is the Annabelle collection. Currently, the third film is not out yet. Um, so the case I had designed kind of looks exactly like this, but the back will be edited to for all three movies. Annie collection, all four movies. Um, I think this is a custom. I actually bought this on 4K and uh, sold the 4K, so I had the Blu ray case made. Arthur trilogy, I've never seen any of these. Um, but yeah, this is a single that's a custom. Again, I uh, sold the Blu-ray, kept the DVD. Austin Powers collection. I think they're doing a fourth film. I've been hearing about it for a while. I don't know how far along they are yet. Um... Waiting on that. This is a custom. Bad Santa 1 and 2. Uh, recently I got in contact with, because on custommaniacs.org you can just buy, there's thousands and thousands of covers. Um, this is Beauty and Barbershop Collection. The three barbershop movies and then they did the beauty shop. Um, you can buy covers but I got in touch with someone who I love their covers that they make and they actually 
I sent them a list and they've been making all my covers. So most of these are from one person, but um, some of them are from other people. So this is a basket case trilogy. I think this is the um, same case for the trilogy that was released in, in another country. I don't know. I don't think we got one yet. This is the original Batman collection. I think this is a custom Battle of Los Angeles. This, I had a, uh, I did this because I didn't have, um, you know, they don't make these, this cover. So I, I had this made, but I haven't had a chance to have it printed yet, but I do have a, a legit one that I had made. Beastmaster Trilogy. Just gonna slip over here. I did this one too because I couldn't, um, at the time I did it, they didn't have, nobody made a case yet. So it's not uh, perfect, but it gives me something to put on the shelf. Uh, most of my Disney stuff, um, I won't fuck with. I'll leave them in their original cases if they come with a slip cover or whatever. But um, that's mainly like uh, the old school classics. Beverly Hills Cop. I, had, I, I bought this and it had the thick, um, you know, the trilogy in the, in the three separate cases. So trying to condense... Squashed it down. Um, it might be done. All. Uh, I got to get a new one of these. I don't really like this after I got it printed. Um, but they are coming out with a new blade film. So I'll probably just wait and get a whole collection done. Blair Witch. I actually really liked the second one. A lot of people never even heard of it, but I might have liked it um, more than the first one. All right, that's it for over here. So we'll go back down. Again, I have to apologize. I don't know exactly what you're seeing, but... I gotta keep, uh, I don't have the room down here. So I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's Buffy and Angel collection and the, I made the Buffy movie in the middle. I'm not gonna pull all those out. Uh, I missed one here. This is the Buddies collection. It's a spinoff of the Air Bud. This is actually a custom to Bruno. And I actually missed another one. This I missed a couple actually. There's a Boogeyman trilogy. I've only seen the first one so far. Uh, this Boondock Saints is a custom. I've only seen the first one of these also. Ultimate Born Collection. Uh, I don't know if I did this. Butterfly Effect. Another one. i only seen the first one with Ashton Kutcher. Cabin Fever Collection. 
this is part of, um, I don't know what you would call it, um, the same design this guy does all the, um, you know, different horror films. So a lot of my collections, like the Freddy and Jason, it's like a 25 movie set, Halloween, Hellraiser, um, Chucky, we're coming up on, you'll see they all have the same type of design, they're all from the same guy. And sometimes he doesn't continue, so I have to go and copy one of his cases and try and edit it with my information. And uh, doesn't look great, but it looks okay on the shelf. It's a custom there. Candyman, I think uh, Jordan Peele is doing a remake. So I will get this done, redone also for the whole collection. I did have uh, this in a, a spine spanning set of three movies, but it, it didn't look very good. And I needed more space, so I had to cut them down. Carry. Four films. Moving on down. So I don't know if you can see Chucky there. Uh, when, when I'm done, I'll pull the camera off and go over these. Oh, also this Alien vs. Predator set. So, again, you can see these are a little different. The guy didn't continue with these, so I made these. And I just had to add something black so it would flow with the picture. Just so I can keep this set. Maybe one day he'll do them. I tried to contact him. I didn't get a response. But um, Children of the Corn. This is actually a 10 movie set. Um, but I got to get another case made. This just has 8 films on there. Um, Willy Wonka and Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Let's scoot down a little bit. Uh, this is Conan. And it also has Red Sonia on there. I tried very... For a very long time to get a movie with all three Conans in it. And I couldn't find one. Um, so I finally found this one. And again it does have Red Sonja which is not Conan in Red Sonja. He's the same type of character. But um, I had to sacrifice for this because I wanted all my Conans in the same set. So... Conjuring. This is a double. I think the third one is they're working on it now, so I'll get a whole set when that comes out. It's a little tight here. So I don't know if you can notice or not, but if it has a clear case, that means it has a custom cover on it. So when I get a custom cover done, I, I buy new cases and... Um, put a new case and a new cover on it, uh, except if it's a Blu-ray. Uh, Creed double feature. Creep Show Trilogy. Uh, Critters, this is a customs four film. Um, I really like this design, so I'm probably going to keep it, but they just came out with a TV movie, Critters Attack. Just got it a couple days ago, so I'm going to have to um, get a new case made, but I think I'm going to keep the, keep the front, because I like that design. Crocodile Dundee Collection. Daddy's Home, double feature. Scoot down a little bit. Uh, 
this is one of a few. Um, I couldn't, I got to get some information together and see if I can get this uh, lady that makes my cases to make me these. Because I just threw these together and it's a dual, you know, it's a volume one and two because there's too many movies to uh, fit in the set. Again, I apologize. I don't know what you can and can't see. Um, so these are just basic, but it, again, it gives me something to put on a shelf. And instead of having 12 movies taking up space, I, I have two cases. Uh, Deadpool, pretty sure they're gonna do another one of these. Uh, Death Race, uh, this isn't a custom, but I'm getting the six movie collection with the original and the new remake, I think it's called Death Race 2050. Um, so it's going to be the same cover and it's just going to say six movie collection and have all six movies on the back. Deliver Us From Evil. The scent double feature. Despicable Me and uh, Minions movie for movie. Deuce Bigelow collection. This is a custom here. And some of these do look like the official release, but they're just altered a little, you know, dependent on the artist that did them. Dirty Dancing. And this is all my Disney movies. So like I said, none of those are custom. I don't see how much you can, I don't know how much you can see, but th so they go all the way down there and then they start back down here and they're, they're uh, filed by Disney and then the name of the film. That's why they're on the D shelf and they're all together. So none of those are customs. I don't, I don't fuck with the, my Disney stuff. Divergent Trilogy. Django, this was a badass movie. And again, this was one that I, I bought the combo pack and sold the Blu-ray. Um, so if you notice any of my movies down, I'm either waiting for the next um, film in the series, or it means I have to get a case made. So in this particular case, I already had the case made, but this movie is not out yet. So something new I started doing. It's a thicker case. Um, I think they're 15 millimeter. The DVDs are 14 millimeter, so they're slightly bigger. But these are some six disc cases that I found. So. Um, I can keep all the combo packs. I, I can have the Blu-ray and the DVD for up to a three-movie collection on Blu-ray. So. I just got this one. I printed one of these a long, probably ten years ago when I was printing and cutting my own cases at fucking Kinko's. And they all have white lines in them and they look like shit. Um, so I, this was my last case that I had. I just got this one done, but, uh, it's so old. Nobody's done one in a while. So you can see it's kind of dated. Dr. Doolittle collection. I really hope you guys can see all these fucking movies because I can't stop. I don't edit. So I can't stop and, uh, 
you know, start over like some people do. So this is my DreamWorks collection. I Again, I hope you can see it. So it's six movies. This is the same lady that makes most of my covers. Um, six movies in each set. If you can see the spine there, it's pretty cool the way that she did that. Set number two. Three. Four. And we just finished this one. I just requested her. She had the first five. Uh, this was the last one that she did. And um, after How to Train Your Dragon, the third one came out that completed six movies for the next set. So I asked her to do the next one, and this is what she came up with. Pretty cool. And I, I think, obviously, they're working on more DreamWorks, but in this case, you'd have to wait um, for six movies to come out to get a case made. Uh, these Duck Dynasties I did myself. Kind of went with like a Brady Bunch theme. They had this theme for one of the um, one of the seasons, so I I like that. So I just ran with it. Um, so I just put them in volumes, so it could be like season one and then two discs from season two, and then it would continue to the next case. But again, just so I, uh, they had like 11 seasons, so this allowed me to crunch it down. Um, one day when I have time, I'm going to shuffle these around on each, each one, just so they're a little bit different. Uh, but the rest of the case is basically the same, except for the back. I put pictures on there from the seasons that are housed in the case. So, But again, I had 10... TV or 11 seasons and you know some of those seasons are pretty thick so it was like taking up a whole shelf and I was able to condense it down into just these four. So these ducktails are all um, this is a custom collection. Now I'm kind of contradicting myself um, because you see some of my Disney stuff has a custom covers but it's um the classics that I, I don't fuck around with but this I have some singles some doubles triples but like you know Freaky Friday or Cheetah Girls collection to me that's not like you know Aladdin Lion King Little Mermaid they're the type of movies that I, I don't fuck with because I want to keep them original so this is all four volumes of DuckTales. And then the movie is has the same design as the series. So I can keep them all together. And they'll look good. This is a custom, but I'm pretty sure it's the same official cover. I did this myself, and I'm very fucking proud of this. I think it's very cool. I messed with it for a long time. And uh, this evolution chart, I zoomed in as far as possible and cut every single pixel out by myself. Um, so if you get real close, you can see it's not perfect, but um, I think it's really cool. Edge of Tomorrow, I think they're doing another one of these. Uh, 
this is the Elvira collection. I do have a third disc in there um, that's not on the cover. It's a huge Elvira fan. Custom there, end of watch. It's a pretty good movie. I love Michael Pan and Man. Everything he's in. Equalizer, double feature. These are pretty good if you haven't checked them out. I just watched the uh, second one while I was on my cruise. Ernest Collection. What good is a movie collection without the Ernest Collection? So Evil Dead and Exorcist, if you can see them, they're customs also. Um, this Fallen Skies, I bought that and um, fiddled around with that a little bit myself. So it's not perfect. The Expendables collection. I heard they're doing another one of these. It got put on the back burner because of Rambo. Um, so I don't know if they'll pick it back up. But fan of the expendables for sure uh family matters hopefully you can see that um again this is like the duck dynasty so i took um all nine of these seasons and condensed them down because they're only three discs three discs per season um so i put them in six disc cases i edited these a little bit um they're all pretty similar um, but I went from nine cases down to five cases, so saves me some room. Fantastic Four collection. Uh, same thing, uh, as earlier with the, uh, Dead collection. Um, this is Fast and Furious. I put them in volumes one and two. Six movies in each set. And I, I... Did this myself, just fooling around to see what it would look like, uh, but I did request to have uh, one of these made. So this goes 7, 8, Hobbs and Shaw, and Fast 9, I think they're going to call it, or not sure yet, but you get the idea. But she'll do a way better, way better than I did. Uh, this is Fear. It's a TV show that MTV did. I fucking loved this show when it was on. They put people in like a haunted prison overnight. And it's just a pretty cool show. Um, it never got an official release. Um, I picked them up at a convention. And um, had cases made. So, Or actually made them myself, sorry. Footloose 1 and 2, still haven't seen the second one, it's only been 8 years since it came out, <laughs> Forever Young, now this came in one of those shitty fucking horrible snap cases that they used to do, so some of my singles are because um, they had snap cases, not because I wanted a different cover, fucking hated those cases so I had everyone changed out I think I have one because it's a lenticular cover um so I kept it um forgetting Sarah Marshall and get him to the Greek they're not really related but it's the same character um so again this came down to condensing not so much the collection <coughs> I just got this one I edited it myself um, and it's four disc. It was a two, two disc set. So it has the Blu-ray and DVD. Two disc Blu-ray and two disc DVD. I don't know if you can see those, but again, I'll go over those at the end. Um, it's my biggest set is my Freddy vs. Jason set. Oh. 
This was a show called Freddy's Nightmares. Freddy Krueger was the host of the show. It was very similar to uh, Tales from the Crypt. Um, i seen one or two episodes. I will watch it one day, but um, they kind of just ran on with the Freddy name. So it's just a little mini series, uh, you know, 15-minute episodes, and, and Freddy's the host of the show. Uh, this is not an official release. This was something, again, I bought at a horror convention, and uh, there was a case floating out there for this, so that's where I got that. Free Willy, four movie collection. Now, I'm a huge fan of Fright Night, so you're going to see a couple different cases here. Um, I wish I still had it here to show you, but I actually had another... I had a Fright Night double feature for the first original two films that I made myself that was very cool. Um, but recently, I got the documentary and changed um, my cases out. But these are the two remakes. I have not seen the second. I did like the first one. Um, this is a new case I just got. So this has the original two and then the um, documentary just came out. Well, it didn't just come out pretty recently. I have not seen it yet. A huge fan of documentaries. Uh, when me and my wife go to these horror conventions most of our time, we'll get a few autographs, meet a couple celebrities, but most of our time is sitting at the uh, Q&A sessions and the, the panels because we really enjoy them. Very similar to, a, you know, a live documentary in certain ways. Um, so this is the same case, uh, but the Blu-rays. So uh, normally I'll have the Blu-ray and DVDs in the same case if I have them, but I wanted these separate. And then I have this. Um, this is the Twilight Time 30th anniversary. This was very rare at one point. Um, it was going for over $200. That's why it's still sealed. Um, I think I paid 50 bucks for it. It's probably the most expensive... Uh, single movie purchase I ever made, but I, I think you can get them for around $50 now, so uh, they do have a new Blu-ray release, so that drops the value a little bit. All right. Row, where are we at? Fourth row here. Uh, sorry, that's not a custom. This one I did myself. I'm a huge fan of the gate. Um, I have a minion that I that's I picked up. Um, it's a creature from the movie. There's only like ten of those made. Um, uh, here's the minion here, gate minion. But uh, yeah, pretty cool movie if you've never seen it. George of the Jungle, double feature. Ghost Rider. Two movies. Ghoulies collection. I did make one of these myself and then someone came out with this set, which is a lot better. A uh, huge, huge fan of, like, 80s horror, comedy slash horror movies, like, B, B horror movies. Uh, this. Sorry. I think I'm out of the picture there. I really hope this video comes out, because it's going to be, like, a fucking hour long, and, uh. If I fuck something up, I'm not going to be able to go back and edit it. So I just uh, requested this to be made. It's a four main Godzilla movies. It does have uh, King of the Monsters, um, which is still out. So uh, when that comes available for purchase, I'll be ready. I won't have to get anything made. Go 
on, girl. This came in a weird case. So this is a custom here. It's a pretty good movie. Goodfellas is a custom. I went through this like three or four times. Every time I got a case, I didn't like it. So, stuck with that one. Well, this is Goosebumps, the TV series. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. They just have different information on them for each volume. It's four of those. Grave Encounters. Uh, I did this myself. It's just uh, part one and part two on reverse covers. But I did have her, um, the lady who makes my cases, make one of these. I just haven't had a printer yet. And it's pretty, pretty cool. Grease. This is just basic, uh, basic, but um, it does have both movies in there. Very simple. Just got this one done. I went over to Green Mile a couple times with different covers and. Uh, I settled on this one. It's kind of like a book when you open it up. Um, it's a very good movie. I love this movie. Gremlins, double feature. Grindhouse, I still haven't seen either of these. Grudge match. Grudge trilogy. Hall pass. So Again, I don't know if you can see that, but this is the same design uh, as some of the other horror movies. And this here, this is the 15 disc set that came out a couple years ago. So I edited the first case to fit so I can put the new Halloween in there. So I did... Because this is a, an official legit case or set, I saved this case in case I ever want to sell it. I'll include it uh, with it so the person has the option to display it how they want. But again, being able to add this to the set makes it easier for me to display it. I also put the two Rob Zombie films together to give me more space in there. And for now, I made a separate case for the bonus disc. This was part, this was in the case with the first movie, but now that I put um, the new remake in there, I had to make a separate case for the bonus disc. Hangover Trilogy. bit here. Happy Death Day. Just got that. Um, I haven't seen the second one. I really did like the first one. Harold and Kumar Trilogy. Um, Hatchet Collection. Adam Green, if you guys haven't seen this, I recommend checking it out. Adam Green's one of the coolest dudes I've ever met, and uh, I'm a fan of almost everything he's ever put out. Guy's just brilliant. Uh, Haunted House, double feature, spoofs. Haunting in Connecticut, double feature.
Haunting of Molly Hartley. Uh, this is, um, sorry, Haunting and Exorcism of Molly Hartley. This is the same design uh, that I was telling you about, uh, all the horror films. Heat, the heat. Uh, Hellboy, I have a cover design. I'm waiting for the, for me to purchase uh, the third film so I can put them all together. Hellfest, this is a custom. Uh, this is the Herbie Lovebug Collection. Uh, Hercules. It's just three of the most popular Hercules movies. Um, that's also what I like about getting custom covers made. I can make them whatever movies I want. And I have another example there. Um on the next row. I'll show you when we get down there. Hills Have Eyes, double feature. Uh, this one, uh, I like these movies so much, I wanted to keep them separate. Um, I have never seen the original, but again, as I talked about earlier, I will get an entire collection because I'm a completist. But I like these so much, I wanted to keep them separate. So if I can get a cool design made, I will um, put the whole collection together. Hocus Pocus, this is designed to look like the book. Home front, that's a custom there. It's a pretty good movie. I like Jason Statham. This is the Honey uh, Collection. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the kids, blew up the kid, and we shrunk ourselves. Horrible Bosses, double feature. Hostile Trilogy, I still have not seen the second and third one, I will. Hot Tub Time Machine Collection, uh, the House Collection, uh, these are Two of my favorite films when I was growing up. I used to watch these all the time. Um, I've never seen three and four. To my knowledge, they never got official releases. I had to get them from uh, horror conventions. But they're like uh, other country releases. One of them is about like a prisoner or some shit that doesn't even have anything to do with the movie house. But they just renamed it that in, in whatever country. Um, but if you've never seen House 1 and 2, I highly recommend checking them out. House Party Collection. Human Centipede. This is that same design. All right, I'm going to have to edit this.